This is your chance. God has prepared a beautiful and mysterious financial present just for you. You already have this unusual talent, but by the conclusion of this film, you'll learn how to use it. Your life will be radically altered after hearing what our Father want to express today via this video. This video did not just happen to appear on your screen. To open what God has for you, this hidden key, you must listen to each word to the conclusion. Don't waste a second, or you'll regret it later. Today, you will begin to recognize the indications and sense the shift. It will start out subtly, but before you realize it, you will be living the life you've always wanted. But everything hinges on a single discovery, which you will learn at the conclusion of this film. When you detect changes, don't inform anybody. Remember, God works in quiet, and this will be critical to your change. When you hear the word, you, accept it, or a word you believe is addressed at you, instantly respond, God is with me, I receive, so that grace becomes a part of your life. My brother and sister, I have a great message for you today that has the potential to not just change but alter your reality once and for all. Yes, a gift from heaven that will greatly benefit you. I realize life has been difficult. The trials have been difficult, but I'd want to remind you today that God is faithful. He watches every cry prayer, and plea. Our Heavenly Father sees everything. God knows every element of your life. He understands precisely what you need and when you need it. He hasn't forgotten you. Perhaps you feel forgotten, as if your prayers are not being heard, yet God is working in the background. He is delivering fresh chances, benefits, and a shift that will dramatically alter your life. Receive this blessing. How many times have you found yourself worrying about expenses, the future, and insurmountable challenges? I understand how that feels. It is difficult to find a moment of tranquility among so many duties. But, dear brother and sister, I want you to know there is hope. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and that is Jesus Christ. Remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 6 verse 34, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough problems on its own. Jesus teaches us to take each day as it comes, knowing that God will provide for us at all times. Sometimes it seems like we're going through a desert, not knowing when we'll find water to satisfy our thirst, yet God is always present. He is the God who provides and finds a way where there is none. He did this for the Israelites when he guided them through the desert, and he will do it for you as well. Today, he will do so using a powerful relic left by Jesus, which you will have privileged access to in this video. Pay attention. Before I disclose this relic and how you may get it, please shut your eyes. Beloved brothers and sisters, today I offer you a strong message of hope and change, which God has put in my heart to share. Pay careful attention because God is sending his angels to transform your reality and bring you success and riches. 
You may be having a terrible time right now, but I want to urge you not to give up hope. God is trustworthy and maintains His promises. His angels surround you, ready to act on your behalf. They are striving to forge new roads and find answers when everything else seems to have failed. Imagine yourself in a dark place, unsure where to go. Suddenly, a light shines, leading you to an open door. This door represents a chance for success and riches. God is directing you to this door, and his angels are there to assist you in crossing it. Accept this grace. Maybe you've done everything and yet feel stuck in a cycle of poverty and anger. Sometimes it seems that no matter how hard you strive, something constantly gets in the way of your development, as if there is an invisible barrier between you and the blessings you so much want. But know that today God has a particular message for you. He wants you to be loyal even in the tiny ways. Often, we are so focused on huge accomplishments and lofty ambitions that we ignore the modest chances for faithfulness that emerge on a daily basis in our lives. Jesus said in Luke 16 verse 10 that whoever is faithful in little things will also be faithful in much. This means that to achieve what we desire, we must first be good stewards of the small blessings we have already received. Take a minute to ponder. How have you handled the little things in your life? It might be a job you don't love, a seemingly unimportant chore, or even how you treat others. God observes these little deeds because they reflect your heart. He wants to check whether you can be trusted with a little amount before entrusting you with more. Receive this gift from our Father. When we are loyal in little things, we show God that we are willing to accept more. It's similar to planting a seed, you nourish, water and care for it. It eventually develops and produces fruit. God watches how you care for the seeds He has given you, and when He sees your faithfulness, He provides you additional seeds, chances, and rewards. Be faithful in your money, even if they seem to be minimal. Tithe, aid those in need, and watch as God multiplies your resources in ways you never dreamed. Be committed to your employment, even if it is not your ideal job. Work with quality and commitment because God sees and rewards those who are loyal even in little ways. God has put you in certain circumstances to test and deepen your faith. He wants to see whether you can trust Him and be loyal in minor things before entrusting you with much more. Perhaps you're wondering why God doesn't quickly grant your every request. The explanation is straightforward, God is preparing you for something higher. He wants you to be prepared to accept and handle the tremendous gift He has for you. Receive this blessing. It's as if our Father is saying, Beloved son and daughter, today I have something wonderful and magnificent for you. I urge you to put everything on hold and pay close attention because this message has the potential to completely impact your life. I, the Lord your God, communicate straight to your heart. Remember my vows to you. They are more than just words, they are everlasting vows made by me, the creator of heaven and earth, 
to lead, protect, and bless your life. Each of my promises demonstrates my undying love and unchanging faithfulness. Remember the commitment to never be alone. Even when everything seems to be crashing around you, I remain at your side. My presence is continuous, and my love is unwavering. I see every cry, hear every prayer, and feel every pain you bear, and I pledge to transform your tears into rivers of joy, your prayers into miracles, and your sufferings into testimony of triumph. Accept this wonderfully soothing reality. I promised you that I would always be at your side to support you when you were weak. Even if your own strength fails, mine will be sufficient to maintain you. When your hopes seem to diminish, I will not only revive your faith, but also restore them. Place your total trust in me and all of your worries in my capable hands, because I care for you with a love that beyond human comprehension. I am the limitless source of your strength, bravery, and consolation. I have wonderful plans for your life, plans for success rather than calamity, plans that will offer you a live hope and a bright future. However, in order for these plans to succeed, you must completely trust me. Don't rely exclusively on your limited comprehension, instead, recognize my presence and direction in all your endeavors. Do you believe it? Do you believe this? If so, tell me this, I put my whole confidence and faith in you, my father. Brothers and sisters, Today I'd want to offer a deep secret that Jesus left us, a spiritual treasure capable of not just altering but completely transforming your life in ways you can't imagine. Pay closely, because what I'm about to share might be the key you've been looking for. The key is to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you, Matthew 6 verse 33. This simple but powerful phrase includes a fundamental truth that, when fully understood and utilized, has the potential to profoundly transform your life. Let us discuss what this genuinely means and how you might use it in your everyday life. Seeking the kingdom of God entails valuing God and his ideals above everything else. We often allow ourselves to be absorbed by the anxieties and duties of everyday life, job, family, money, and health. Of sure, everything is important. However, Jesus taught us that if we put God first in our life, he will take care of everything else. He is not suggesting that these things are unimportant, but that we should prioritize pursuing God and His righteousness. But what precisely is the kingdom of God? It is the world in which God rules supremely, where His ideals and justice triumph. It is a kingdom that values love, peace, justice, and the truth. Seeking the kingdom of God entails adhering to these principles and enabling God to rule in our hearts and lives on a daily basis. Seeking God's righteousness entails behaving honestly and justly, following Jesus' teachings and actions. It entails loving your neighbor as yourself, forgiving those who insult us, and showing compassion and mercy. It means living according to the kingdom of God's ideals in all aspects of our existence. 
By honestly pursuing God's kingdom, you not only discover greater purpose and significance, but also become a benefit to others around you. Your life becomes a live testament to God's transformative power. Those around you will see the change and be motivated to pursue God as well. You will become a light of hope, love, and truth in a world that sorely needs these qualities. Take a time to contemplate and share this message with your friends, family, and acquaintances. Let us join together to proclaim the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And, as for the previously stated gift, which you already possessed but needed to find, God has two presents for you, and there will be a heavenly extra at the end. God's first gift to you is tranquility that transcends all human comprehension. This gift is genuinely one of a kind, it is a valuable treasure, a blessing that entirely affects our lives. Imagine waking up with a peaceful heart, knowing that no matter what occurs, you are secure in God's arms. Consider what it would be like to live without the continual feeling of concern, the dread of the future, and the anxiety that so frequently takes our happiness. God's peace encompasses all of this and more. It is actual serenity, not an illusion of security based on our circumstances. This serenity is based on complete confidence in God and the assurance that He is in charge of everything. When we encounter life's storms, this tranquility offers us the fortitude to persevere. Jesus told us, Peace I leave with you, and my peace I give to you. I will not give you as the world gives, John 14 verse 27. God's serenity is unlike anything the world has to give. It settles the heart, offers calmness even in the most trying moments, and gives us peace of mind knowing that God loves us. Consider those evenings when you couldn't sleep, when your mind was racing with anxieties and concerns. Consider handing up all of your worries to God and letting Him handle everything. Imagine a sense of great relaxation and tranquility that pervades your whole body. This is God's serenity. Please accept this gift from our Father. To enjoy this tranquility, you must build a close connection with God. Spend time in His presence, listen to His words, and believe in His promises. This friendship produces God's peace. The closer we become to God, the more profoundly we feel His calm. Today, God wishes to bring you this calm. He asks you to rest in Him, to release all of your worries to Him, and to open your heart to the serenity He brings. Let God soothe your spirit and provide peace to your heart. Live in God's peace every day and observe how it changes your life. May God continue to richly bless your life with His peace now and always. Now have the gift of our Father's peace. The second tremendous gift God has for you is abundant provision. Imagine never having to worry about what to eat, paying bills, or providing for your family's basic necessities again. Consider the calm that comes from knowing God is supplying all of your needs in ways you can't conceive. God promises bountiful provision to those who believe in Him. God is our shepherd, 
and He loves and cares for us deeply. He knows every element of our life, every worry, and every heart desire, and He can meet all of our needs in ways that frequently go beyond our comprehension. He owns everything, and nothing is out of His control. Comment on this, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Consider the times when you confronted severe obstacles, were unclear how to manage financial issues, and then discovered an unexpected answer. This is God operating in your life, demonstrating that He is constantly there and concerned about you. He is a God of supply, never abandoning His children. When we consider of God's provision, we frequently restrict our perspective to what we can see and comprehend. However, God is much larger than that. He supplies not just our physical needs, but also our emotional and spiritual ones. He empowers us, gives us bravery and insight, and provides us with all we need to live a full and prosperous life. Imagine the delight of having your bills covered, being able to care for your family, and generously assisting others. This is one of God's provisions. He blesses us so that we might bless others and spread His riches. However, God's provision extends beyond tangible things. It also offers peace of mind, knowing that He is in charge. When we put our confidence in God and offer Him all of our worries, He gives us serenity that is beyond our comprehension. He soothes us, leads us, and shows us the path. To receive this bountiful supply, you must have confidence and trust in God's promises. He is concerned about every element of our existence. We must open our hearts and minds to accept what He has for us and be thankful even before we see His provision materialize, because we know He is good and cares about us. Accept this magnificent gift. Whatever you've done or how many errors you've made, God's mercy is enough to forgive and change you. Perhaps you bear a huge load of guilt and humiliation, and you believe your sins are unforgivable, but I want you to know that God's grace is stronger than any sin. It is a gift that God extends with outstretched arms in the hope that you would embrace it. Brother and sister, God has also provided us with a great treasure, an easily available gift that has the potential to impact our lives in incredible ways. This treasure is God's Word, the Bible. The Bible is more than a book. It is a source of knowledge, consolation, and guidance. In His tremendous generosity, God has given us this rare resource so that we might understand His plan and enjoy a full and fruitful life. The Bible is more than just a collection of old tales, it is a guidebook for life. Every page, Every verse has lessons that we may implement in our everyday lives. What's more astonishing is that no matter how many times we read the same paragraph, there's always something new to find or learn. Consider the Bible as God's love letter to us. Its pages include evidence of His unconditional love, promises of hope and everlasting life, and directions for how we should live. It reminds us that we are not alone, and that God is constantly there, guiding and protecting us. 
The Bible also provides us knowledge for making choices. In an uncertain world, we may look to the Bible for direction. She teaches us what is right and wrong, how to treat others, and how to live a life that glorifies God. To fully benefit from the Bible's depth, we must incorporate it into our daily lives on a regular basis. Opening the book simply in times of struggle is insufficient. We should set aside time each day to read the Bible, ponder on its words, and allow them to shape our hearts and minds. Starting at a slow rate, maybe one page each day, is an excellent start. What actually important is that you read, meditate, and implement its lessons on a daily basis, not how many pages you read. Adopting this practice may lead to life change. We experience how heavenly words transform us into the image of Jesus, giving us fresh serenity, pleasure, and purpose. This shift helps not just ourselves, but also people around us, friends, family, and co-workers. Do not overlook this valuable gift. Every day, open your Bible and allow God to speak to you, guiding your steps with insight, strength, and encouragement. Allow Him to alter your life in ways you never dreamed. May God richly bless you as you strive to fulfill the fullness of the life He has planned for you. Please subscribe to our channel and enable alerts to remain informed on new messages. May God bless your travels, and until the next time.